Hey everyone, this is just a quick PSA. Don't watch my old videos. Uh, the most recent one is probably the best one, and then after that, they just go downhill. <laughs> so please, please, don't watch my old videos. I'm gonna go ahead and explain why though, so we're not just gonna leave things on a cliffhanger here. Uh, so I figure instead of just talking about the videos themselves, we should talk about why they were made all the way back December 5th, 2014, my first upload. So you'll probably be seeing footage of these videos in the background. Please excuse the quality because back in these days, I was using Windows Movie Maker to edit and I also only had 60 FPS 720p as the quality because I didn't really know what I was doing in terms of settings. But that's kind of what the point of these videos was. It's experimentation that kind of led to where I am today. So let's start all the way back at the beginning. Why did I even start making videos? So the reason that I started making videos was because I was having a hard time speaking and also just saying the things that I was thinking about, like going from my head to my mouth and then having it make sense. That was what I was having trouble with. So making videos sort of became a bit of a, a speech therapy thing for me, but it was my own doing, so self-inflicted speech therapy. And I think overall it's worked. Now you do see me live occasionally, but uh, something that I used to do quite often, and you'll probably notice because a lot of these videos are completely unedited, is I tend to repeat myself a lot. And I do that when I'm live sometimes too. I try to avoid it and I've gotten better at avoiding it, but it's very apparent in some of these old videos. I just keep saying the same thing over and over and also stuttering as well. So back in these days, like I said, the quality wasn't great. The, I had 60 FPS, which was good. That's a good start. I kind of set that as a benchmark, but I was only recording in 720p. I was recording using Shadowplay and I was editing with Windows Movie Maker. Now for audio, I was using a Guitar Hero USB mic, which is actually surprisingly good. If, you, if you're on a budget and you want to make videos, you can actually use a USB Guitar Hero mic. Mine was from the Wii, and then it actually comes out decent quality if you know how to edit it right. But obviously back in these days, I had no idea how to edit the audio, so it sounded a little bit like this. Hello and welcome to the Automotive Flex channel. This is the new series, it's called win a race, but it was from humble beginnings that these videos started, especially the very first Gmod videos I was making. My goodness, those ones are horrific. Don't even bother with those. Skip ahead if you're actually going to watch something, maybe to the first grid episode, and we'll talk about that next. So what I decided I wanted to do with my channel was sort of complete games in a series style manner using 20 minute episodes. Although the funny thing is the reason I was doing 20-ish minute episodes was because Windows Movie Maker has a four gigabyte render limit. And if you went over that, it would take all the time to render and then the video would corrupt at the end. So it would take forever to render a video only for it to be more than four gigabytes. And then I just have to do it again with a bunch of the video cut off so it would be smaller. So I had a, a system that worked 23 to 25 minutes. More than that was potential for corruption. So that's why most of these videos are shorter than that. But the funny thing about these videos, these series specifically, especially the Grid series, uh, I played through both Grid Autosport and the original Grid. And then I also played through Dirt. Uh, all of the playlists are on the channel. Again, I would advise not watching those. <laughs> but looking through them now, I've sort of realized like I was just rambling for 20 minutes in every single one of these videos. It was incoherent rambling pretty much. And I've come to understand that these videos are a bit of a diary for me. Now looking at the original grid videos, it's the titles are just basically like what's going on in the videos. But when you skip forward into Dirt and also Grid Autosport, it's the title is the thing that I'm talking about in the video. So for example, I made a, a video that is the title iPhone 7. People thought I was playing Grid Autosport on the iPhone 7, but I was actually just talking about how I got an iPhone 7. It's like a diary. And these videos are basically like, well, there are several hundred of them. Uh, they're just diary entries. But I honestly think it, it took that amount of time for a reason. Like, I'm not naturally skilled at speaking like this, and it took me a lot of time and practice to be able to get this way. And you can see all of my practice on YouTube. That's a bit spooky. I have been thinking about privating these videos for a long time, pretty much when my channel started to get more popular, I was like, oh no, I don't want people to see these, and that is still the case, but for now I'm gonna leave them up. I took ads off of all of them, 
because YouTube put ads on all of them when my channel was monetized and I never got rid of that, but yeah, they're just free and open now. So I think that this sort of opens up an interesting discussion that I wanted to touch on in this video. I was making these videos for like four years before anything happened, all the way from December 5th, 2014 to July 18th, 2018. That's four years of video uploading and without significant viewership. Like I had, I think 60 subscribers, 60 or 80 somewhere in there. And most of my videos had either no views or just one. And, but that's the thing, like I just kept making videos. I made a ton of videos in that time and all of them are bad. <laughs> Pretty much every single one of them is bad. I read an article the other day about Twitch streamers who stream to nobody and talking about how they feel helpless and they feel like nobody's ever gonna watch them and like they're, they're wondering why they might stream for hours a day and then stream for years but nobody watches them. In that article, as I was reading it, I started, started to think of myself and I started to think of what I was doing and what I was doing wrong at the beginning. A bit of a pro tip here, I guess. But these videos are not good, and I can't lie to myself and tell myself that they are good. It took rapid change for me to turn them into something that was good. Like, making that update was very important after I'd come back from a, a summer and fall and a bit of the winter of being extremely busy working. And then I wanted to get back into YouTube, I wanted to change things up, and that's when my channel took off. Like, sometimes just doing the same thing over and over and over and over in my case for four years isn't gonna get you the success that you want, especially when it's as low effort as these videos are. Like thinking about it, a lot of the streamers in that article are probably ones that play games and they are playing the game and they just happen to be streaming it at the same time. The focus isn't on the stream, it's on the game. And that's not necessarily good for streaming. Like, it takes a certain skill set, I think, to be able to accomplish that kind of success. It's not so much luck, although it is a bit of luck for sure, but if you're a good streamer, I think you will eventually find an audience, and I think it's the same way with YouTube. But in my case, it took me so long to find anybody, any of you, because all of these videos are bad, until the ones that I started to make, which are still bad, but they started to head in a good direction. There was a bit of luck involved, no doubt about that, but things definitely improved before people came and I think that's notable. So I had no viewership for approximately four years. I basically gave up hope of anybody actually watching my content and I was making it all for me. And while that's okay, it also doesn't really work if I was ever actually trying to gain an audience. I've got to make it for me in a way that I like it, but also tailor it to the people who are going to be watching it. Like the, the easiest videos that somebody can make are ones that are long like the ones I have, 30 minutes a lot of the time there, and unedited, or at least barely edited. Those ones I can <laughs> make a ton of in a day, like they're, they're very easy to do. It's a lot harder to sit down, come up with an idea, and then plan out a video only to make it, then have to edit it, render it, the proper thumbnail, all that stuff. It takes a lot more effort, but it does garner results. It's worth it in the end, if that's what you're going for. So, needless to say, let's jump a little bit into the future. We'll skip that four years and move on. First couple automation videos I made were not particularly good. Uh, especially the 1400 horsepower mini build is particularly bad. Off-roader build, drag build, front-wheel front drive Corvette, like I was just throwing ideas out there, trying different things, but I was being quite consistent uh, with uploads, only to kind of hit it off with the 50 horsepower ultralight race car, which is a pretty terrible build, but people seem to like it. And then from there things slowed down until the Bomero. I think my videos have hit a point where I am actually happy with them very recently. A lot of the other videos, not so much. Um, I think past Redout, maybe the lowest compression possible V8, that's kind of where things started to gel for me, where I thought, like, this is a video that I actually am happy with. And then after that, a lot of the builds that I've been doing, I've been particularly happy with. A lot of the ideas that I've had as well, um, some of them like uh, the lead fuel gang car, I like that idea quite a bit. The no compression one as well. Um, I'm, I'm per actually quite happy with the Rise Race of the Future video, even though not many people have seen it. But stuff like that it stands out to me as like, I'm making good change and I'm hopeful that uh, people will respond to that. Anyway, what would this video be without me going back and reacting to some of my ancient videos? Let's dip into the archive, see if we can pull some ancient stuff out and have a look at it. 
Maybe we'll find a hidden gem. I can guarantee you we won't. All right, so I've pulled one straight out of the archive. It is the original grid video. This is episode one of Race Driver Grid. Let's just go ahead and watch this. I'm cringing right now, even just thinking about it. Hello, welcome to the Automotive Flex channel. Today we will be we will be playing Grid. Okay, so first 11 seconds in, and you can already hear my old intro. I used to say hello and welcome to the Automotive Flex channel because I didn't know how to start videos then either, and now I've kind of changed things up instead of doing that and just saying hey. That works too. I also really like how there's like thumping in the background. That's because I used to rest my mic on the keyboard, so yeah, you kind of hear everything. Guy names, and then there's girl names, and then there's nicknames. So we're gonna go for a nickname because it calling us Brooke would be kind of weird. Okay, one thing you're gonna immediately notice as well is that the controller noise is delayed from the actual screen. Apparently I didn't know how to line up audio either. <laughs> I just find this to be, well, not much has changed. Oh, this kind of Look at this, we might even win this race here. You'll also notice that I'm a terrible driver, especially back then. Crashing into things was just par for the course, and also losing pretty much every race at the beginning was, again, <laughs> it's something that just seemed to happen often. Also, my voice is eerily quiet and the game is pretty loud. Again, balancing audio and video volumes, difficult. I'd like to revisit this game at some point, maybe play it in an actually edited video, and maybe that could be fun. I did end up beating the entire game though. I managed to make it over 60 episodes, I believe. All right, I'm jumping ahead a little bit. We're moving on to episode 18 of Grid Autosport. This one should hopefully be a little bit better in quality. Probably not better in video quality, but audio, hopefully. Hello, and welcome to the Automotive Flux channel. So today, we're gonna get back into the races again today. Uh, it's Wednesday. That's kind of what usually happens on Wednesdays. Oh yeah, so I made a video every Wednesday, and then I just kind of changed up those days as time went on based on my school schedule, because back in these days, I was in college and not really a completion thing. Like, you can't really complete Smite. I guess you could set a goal for yourself, like get every god to mastery 10 or something, which would be ridiculous, by the way. I don't think that's possible. So here I'm talking about a game that isn't this game while playing this game, talking about Smite and playing Grid Autosport. Uh, everything is relative here. <laughs> so this is a Smite video that I made. It's called April 19th. Let's watch this one and see how this goes. But I just wanted to point out before we get too far into this, I've got 5,700 uh, fantasy points, the top level being 40,000, that's pretty reasonable. But I was looking at the Thanatos skin, and it's 80,000 fantasy points. Admittedly, the audio in this one is actually pretty decent, uh, especially for that Guitar Hero mic. It seems at this point I figured out how to use it. The idea is with this one, pretty simply, we're going to attempt to do this, but then knock somebody into the lava like that, or in this case, not lava, instead it's water. Previously, it has been holes. Oh, Smite has not been seen on this channel for a long time, but goodness, <laughs> it brings back some memories here looking at this. Yeah, I'm never gonna play this game again. Uh, what should we get next? I think Magus is next. They do have two tanks. Nice, I, I got the kill on that because I got an auto off on him. Oh yeah, I was a very mediocre Smite player, not particularly good at uh, these games in general. I did play for like almost 1400 hours before stop playing. I uh, was a little bit addicted. Speaking of addicted, I also used to play a ton of Hearthstone, so let's go ahead and review Joust Hunter. It's got some non-copyright music in it, so I think I'm gonna mute that. Yeah, just listen to uh, whatever I'm playing in the background instead. So I actually considered this to be a montage because I actually edited it, uh, although it's not really that good of a montage. I basically just made really crappy decks and then attempted to play them. I think I only made a few videos on this game, probably only one. Um, I'm not sure though, I don't want to look back. 
All right, let's move on to Dirt episode 45. This one is about Bioshock Infinite. I think I just started to play it again at this point, so I was wanted to talk about it in the video, and it's about as on par with the regular quality that we've seen so far today. Hello, and welcome to the Automotive Flux channel. And, uh, hello, and welcome to my usual rambling video that I do every single uh, Wednesday, it seems. Oh yeah, no, I was absolutely right about the rambling part. I'm just feeling a lot better now. And no coughing so I can make these videos without having to edit out every five minutes and make a bunch of jump cuts <clears throat> but just in case I do have some water next to me so fun fact I actually used to use that same Guitar Hero mic although in a bit of a different configuration because I did have a mic stand um, in some of the newer videos on the channel uh, all the way up to like part way through the automation series believe it or not before I switched to the current mic that I'm using so the audio in these old videos is uh, definitely subpar for a long time. I, I played the game on normal and it wasn't challenging from what I remember. Um, I just used the exact same, I want to call them plasmids, but that could be incorrect. But I just, uh, I used the exact same abilities basically throughout the entire game and didn't bother with um, some of the more interesting ones. This game is another one that I want to revisit at some point, uh, just because I have fond memories of it. I have played through the entire game as well on here, and I think I have Dirt 4 as well. I could probably visit that at some point. I haven't played it at all. And finally, let's move on to a bit more of a recent video. Uh, this one still I'd recommend not watching. It's the 50 horsepower, but fast. That's what I've called the file. But it's the 50 horsepower race car, the ultralight one. Let's go ahead and watch this. Hey everyone, so we're back again. Uh, this time a little bit earlier than last time, but it's because we have a suggestion from a viewer uh, named AK Gaming. Oh yeah, this is back when I actually took suggestions. I do read them, but I don't put them up like this anymore, just because I don't want to encourage people to go nuts when I don't pick theirs. Here's the basic chassis. Now, my idea is we're just gonna we're just gonna screw all realism. Um, we are going to make it as light as we possibly can. It is going to be... Oh yeah, I would like to revisit this at some point, basically because I didn't do a very good job at this time. I didn't really know what I was doing on automation, and that is very, very evident. Just because I want the car to look decent, I don't want it to be super ugly. Um, needless to say, I hope you enjoyed that little blast from the past. It's cool to be able to look back at these videos and, well, see where the channel has come from. If you're interested in having more of a discussion on this type of thing, let me know. I spend a lot of time thinking about it, so uh, maybe I can open up some insights as to how my channel has gotten to the place that it is and where I would like it to be. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. We've got an automation video coming up uh, next week, coming out on Wednesday. And then after that, I've got another thing planned for Saturday. Should be good. <laughs> I'm pretty excited on the direction that the channel is going, and I'm hoping to do more of these like different offshoot videos depending on how um, well received they are like sometimes these videos get under a thousand views and I, I'm just disappointed by that although that's not gonna stop me anyway for these lower tiered videos like they don't really make sense to do time wise it it'd probably make more sense for me, for me to make an automation video it do a lot better for the channel but thanks to supporters like these ones here uh, videos like this are possible we have Canadian Steel, Overlord, Dr. Ivo, That Riced Out Explorer, QT Bear, McLovin Plays, Terry Williams, The Most Random Person, Sick D Cars and Stuff, Boris Ramirez, and Daniel. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate all of you a lot. I'm looking forward to things moving forward over the next year or so as the channel continues to develop.